When we make things, we bring people together. Hello. Hello, Jonathan. How are you? I'm good. How are you managing to keep morale up? I think what is quite interesting is that we are in a moment where when you kind of remove the speed, you start to see things in a different way. And I think it's actually involved more work, but more constructive work. And about your work, what's it like creating from home? How is your Love team adapting to this new way of working? It's been interesting. You know, you get a more kind of togetherness with the team because everyone's in the same situation. What we've found is that we're looking at different ways of how we deal with creativity and different ways of how we build collections. It's a huge ecosystem. My job is the responsibility of all the people who work for me. And I have to keep them positive, them going. And from the Loewe on Casa programme, what's the story behind this digital campaign? When it happened and the message was to stay at home, I was like, well, you know, how can we take this moment to put a light on very small craft people that rely on income, on making very small amounts of things? We sometimes forget about the make. We only think about the object. Mm. And I think what I wanted through this was really going in depth with all the people that we've worked with and at the same time be able in a weird way make an entertainment for people that is educational right and like many designers you've had to cancel shows many big media players will be doing digital reviews how do you think we'll be seeing collections in the future i'm actually in a weird way quite glad that i'm not doing a show because i think i was at a point where i wanted to tackle it different anyway it was nearly kind of forced over the edge to do it i know it sounds a weird thing to say but you want to change things, but when you're kind of in a system, you feel like you have to keep going with the system. And I think it was a good push to kind of be like, okay, now we need to re-look at things. Seasonality, taking time to digest clothing. And how are you looking to steer the Maison through this period? If we keep everyone employed, we have done the most fantastic job. That's the key for me, is that is the reward. And through the last month of being indoors, I have realized that that is more valuable to me than the creative output, because that goes back to what I initially wanted to do with the brand, which was how do you turn a brand into a cultural brand to keep people who make things being able to keep being creative. And a cultural brand is about a family. And how do you see the situation impacting fashion and consumer expectations in the near future? I quite enjoy at the moment not knowing what's going to be next. I do feel that there is going to be this rejection of things that are not real or they are not built on good foundations. But I don't think it is about reimagining the entire wheel. I think it's about taking what is good from it and emphasizing it and being true to what you are. I think probably some of the greatest work in history has been created through crisis because I think it removes the veneer of normality looking to other movements that happened in art and in fashion, like the birth of Yves Saint Laurent after Christian Dior dies. These moments of tragedy spawned huge amounts of creativity and opened the door to the next generation. And going back to you being at home, is there anything else you're doing in terms of distraction, um, like listening to podcasts, looking at any books? I've done way more reading than I've ever done, or even researching other things, mm. non-aesthetical things, but more how society has dealt with wars or how they've dealt with design after moments in life. And before we hang up, do you have a message that you'd like to share? My message is ultimately this is a moment of reflection in which fashion should be quiet. It should be looking to the idea of make. Through those sort of three points, I think you end up finding solutions. Solutions come out of extreme situations. Thank you. Take care of yourself. Stay safe. You too. You're more than welcome. Thank Thank you. you. Bye-bye. Bye.